Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's great Excel video, I'm going to show you how to create a chart and then filter that chart because you may only want to see a portion of that data. Maybe you're charting four years and you only want to see one year. Maybe you're charting multiple products, but you only want to see a couple products. So I'm going to show you this first with just a little bit of data, method one. Then I'll pop over here with lots of data and do method two. And there's a trick I'm going to do here that if you don't do it, this won't work. So here we go. Let's start off. Let's start off easy. I've got car manufacturers listed. I've got three years across the top. Click inside your data. If you're a Windows user, you can do Alt F1. I'm going to stick with the mouse here. Insert chart group right here column chart 2D. That works. Here you go already. Over here to the right is your chart filters. You click it. If you notice, the series is the three years, 2019, 2020, and 2021. If I don't want to see, I'm making this up 2019. Click it once. Click apply, and I no longer see 2019. Pop back in there. Make that again. Select all. Apply, and I'm back here. Now, I only want to see, I'm making this up, all the manufacturers except Toyota. Easy. Go back and change it to Toyota, hit apply, and I'm back to all of them. Here's where the problem comes. If you have a small set of data, like I do right here, feel free to do exactly what I'm doing because it's just checking and unchecking. What you cannot do here is I cannot unselect Lexus, Toyota, and GM without actually clicking all three checks. The shift key doesn't work. So in case you're wondering, I click on Lexus and turn it off. I hold down shift, try to select GM, what unchecks GM, but it didn't uncheck Toyota. So that is where, if it's just a small set, use this method here. One more cool tip before I move on. There's my chart here. I'm just going to move it over here. If you don't like this data running with the manufacturers down A and the years across the top, just highlight it and copy. Click in a blank cell, right click and do what's called a transpose right here. Same data, I just swapped it around. In fact, if I make the chart, I guarantee you the chart should be the same chart. And it is, okay. Same filters. All right, let's go on now to another chapter. Let's talk about doing this with lots of data. So I've got dates in column C, revenue and expenses in D and E. I would normally never do this by leaving A and B blank. The only reason I did that is I'm making this video. So when I do something, it would pop off the screen. I normally have A and B. A would be date, B would be revenue. Here we go though. Insert, same exact steps, chart, there's my chart. Here's the issue again, by the way. Click in the chart, chart filters. I only want to see the year 2020. That would be 12 unchecks, and then I'd have to click apply. So I'm not going to do that one. What I recommend you do on your charts two things you can do. One, you can just come up here and turn on the filter, data. Sort and filter group, filter, and filter from here instead of the chart filters. Let's see if that works. Put that chart back in there. I could have actually left it. That's okay. So don't use chart filters. Too much data. I'm going to look. The filters in the data grouped it by year. So I can do a take off, select all, check 2020. When I hit OK, everything's correct, but watch, I bet my chart disappears. And it did. Undo. So here's the trick. Right click in your chart and go to Format Chart Area. A task pane is going to appear over on the right. You want to go to this option right here that says Size and Properties. After you select Size and Properties, here's Size. Here's Properties. Expand Properties. You want to pick don't move or size with cells. Make sure that is selected. You can now close this if you want. Now when I go to only 2020, 
Here we go. There is my chart. How about that? A little note when I do that because I'm filtering the data. If I come over here to the chart filters, look. The other stuff is, the other rows are hidden, so I don't even see them. I do want to let you know that, but it would be easy just to show revenue, by the way, now. Apply all. So the other rows are hidden. If you look over here, row 36 is in blue, down to row 47. To get everything back, I can either click here and go to select all. I can also just come up to data, clear, or I can even turn off the filters. It's up to you. One, one tip I have for you though, everything I did has been correct, but if I was doing this, I would turn this data into a table. Let me show you why. Get rid of the chart. Control T, Control T is the Windows method. I'll also put the Mac method on the screen. If you don't like using the keyboard shortcut, home tab at the top. Format as table is the same as my control T to get it created. The advantage of the table, I'm going to do an Alt F1, just make that chart for yourself. The advantage of the table, and you still got to do the little chart trick. Hold on, sorry. Real quick, you know where this is. Don't move. If I only want to see 2021, if you add data to a table, the chart will pick it up. February 2021. If you add data to a range, you'll have to go and tell the chart. You'll have to go and tell the chart to pick up the range by going to select data. So make your data range a table first, then make your chart. And now when I do my filtering, look, it picked up. The two months I just added, watch this. I know you love to watch me type, but it's working. There you go. It would not have done that with just a range. So change your data into a table before you make a chart. I hope that helps. We looked at two different ways, a short set of data using the chart filters, a large set of data, convert to a table, Make your chart, go to the chart properties, don't move and don't resize, and then you're good to go. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. Thank you. Have a great day.